How are you doing everybody today? I am basically going to solve a problem for you that I have been seeing several times when I'm trying to install OSX Catalina on a computer that doesn't have an operating system or a hard drive in it yet. Um, I've seen many videos and obviously it's not explaining it and one of the problems I keep running into is that when you go to install your hard drive or install your operating system on your new hard drive, what you're running into is a problem where it says disk locked. And I will stop the video for a second and make sure that we move forward to, so you don't have to watch a whole, you know, thinking line go through. So as you see here, I'm gonna go and attempt to install Catalina on the new system. Go through the same protocol that anybody would go through when they see it, click agree. As you see when I click here, it says this disk is locked. And I'm basically going to show you how you can fix that moving forward. So I'll move to my other system and show you kind of what I did to make sure I alleviated that process. So I'll go back to my original system and I look at basically my hard drive that I have set to be the new installing hard drive on the new system. I had to create two separate partitions so that one could install the other as I did not have an existing internal hard drive. So when I click to partition the hard drive, just so you can see what it looks like, I literally split it in half. That Catalina Crucial half of my drive <coughs> would be the Mac OS extended version, and then your install location would be that APFS. So if you're running it from your initial Catalina, you would create basically two different partitions, one holding your op system and the other one ready to receive the op system to run your new system on. And as you'd go through that, I'm assuming you would know how you'd partition your drive regularly because you'd already initialized it. So after you erase your initial drive, you're going to go ahead and partition a new partition to be installed on, unless of course you have an existing drive that's in your computer. So that's why you guys are running into that issue because there is no hard drive in your computer for the most for the most part, or the new hard drive, you're just thinking that the system that you have it on is supposed to install on that same hard drive. So basically this is how I found that solution. So now what I'm gonna do is boot up the system I'm trying to work on. I'm going to hold option, so I get that drive as an option that I want to boot off of. And there that C, if I boot off that specific drive, I'm not going to make you wait again. So now as we get back to our launch screen, I'm going to go to that reinstall Mac OS. Move forward just as we did last time. We're going to go to install Catalina. Sign your life away. And now you see, this is our same partition drive that we split into two. That would be your installation, and this would be your install location. So I'm going to click the install location is where we want to put that. And move forward. And obviously, I'll connect my computer to a power switch before it dies on me. And we will start the process of the next two hours <laughs> of installing. As you see right now, it says 12 minutes remaining. I'm not going to make you make, wait that 12 minutes, but I am going to make you wait 11 minutes and 50 seconds. No, I'm just playing. I will fast forward the video and show you the result as we go along. So now it's moving back up to its second phase of install. Goes through two phases. We got up to our percentage where we needed to be before. Now it's moving up to our second phase. So obviously I'm not going to have you wait again. I will chime back in when everything is up to where it needs to be. Still waiting on some movement. But I just wanted to check in you guys anyway. Let you know that everything is definitely moving the way that we wanted it to move. But still got some time to wait. And yes, my screen's dirty. All right, checking back in. As you see, we got about a minute remaining. I'm sure it's going to go way crazier than that. But <laughs> we'll be back as soon as everything goes up the way it's supposed to. 
So yeah, the reason you're seeing all this coding, obviously, well, not obviously, is because I um, actually I'm installing Catalina on an old system, so I had to get kind of a different install platform to do it. But as you see, everything is starting to boot up into the new system um, <clears throat> after we partition that high dress so everything works properly. Just waiting for it to boot up now. So as we get everything uploaded, you see this is basically what your normal startup system would look like because we, after switching those um, <clears throat> partition hard drives around, everything got installed properly and you would just basically go through the same protocol that you would go through to install a system as you would any other way. Um, if you like what you see, um, make sure you like the page, subscribe to my channel because I will definitely be making some more videos like this. I am not a computing genius. I'm learning as I go and I felt that this was something I didn't see the solution to so I um, kind of stepped in to find one and, and I kind of recorded my journey as I did. Hopefully this is the solution for you and everything works out and thank you for tuning into my channel.